Hi, everybody. I am John Bard, managing editor of Children's Book Insider and Fightin' Bookworm in Chief at the CBI Clubhouse, the amazing new community for children's book writers. Visit us at cbiclubhouse.com. Today, well, one of those big questions. Do you have what it takes to make it as a children's book writer? There's a difference between wanting to see your name on a book and wanting a career as a children's book author. Anyone with a few bucks can publish their own story, and many books are perfectly suited to be self-published titles given to family and friends. The career mentality, however, is more complex. Check out some of these common characteristics and see how you measure up. First, successful authors have humility. When we get emails from people saying, I'm going to be the no next Dr. Seuss, we cringe a little bit. Confidence is fine, but don't compare yourself to someone like Dr. Seuss right out of the gate. In fact, don't compare yourself to anyone. Work on finding your own style and voice, and know that you don't have to become a literary institution to become a success. Learning to write well is a lifelong process, and the writers who get published understand that each manuscript, whether it sells or not, teaches them something. They're not afraid to be critiqued or edited. They've put their heart into a book or article, and then they've removed their ego. They understand that if their critique group or editor says a plot is too predictable, it's far better to chuck the storyline and start over than fight to preserve a mediocre manuscript. And they're grateful for the input that saved them from dozens of rejection letters. They will work for resume. Successful authors know that their query letters are more impressive if they can list some publishing credits. They're willing to write for little or no money at first because the experience of meeting a deadline and working with an editor is invaluable. They may decide to sell one story to a magazine that buys all rights so their next story can be sold to a bigger publication that purchases first rights only. They'll submit to local magazines, regional publishers, and small presses as, they're perfect, as they perfect rather their manuscripts intended for larger national publishers. Well-published authors don't overlook any market that might be right for a particular work. And when you're just starting out, seeing your byline in a local parenting publication is just as satisfying as appearing in highlights for children. They love writing and reading children's books. While most prolific authors we know have families and jobs, they live, eat, and breathe writing. Any spare moment is devoted to working on a manuscript. Free weekends are spent at conferences and workshops. When they're not writing, they're reading children's books. As soon as they get one manuscript in the mail, they start the next one. In fact, super successful authors work on several manuscripts at once. If they're uninspired to revise a scene from their novel, they'll write a query for an article idea or do research for a picture book biography. Now, you don't have to maintain this level of activity to become published. Most writers don't. But if you want to make a living as a children's book author, if you want your website to list 50 or more books in print like many of the folks that we know, then it's pretty much a required way to think. Finally, they play the field. Well-published authors don't limit themselves to one genre. They'll write picture books, novels, short stories for magazines, poetry, nonfiction, even material for the adult market, as well as parenting magazines or writing newsletters like Children's Book Insider. After one book comes out, they don't wait for their editor to ask for another manuscript. They create what inspires them. And if it's not right for their current editor, they market it somewhere else. In fact, it's more difficult to get widely published if you only write one type of book. A publisher carries a limited number of titles per season, and the editor of your middle grade novel might not appreciate your having another novel for the same age group come out with a different publisher simultaneously. But a magazine article or nonfiction picture book won't compete with a book for older kids. It still gets your name in front of reviewers and book buyers. Successful authors don't dabble in writing now and then. They embrace it and do whatever it takes to get published because it's what they want more than anything else. So if you think you have it, if you can envision yourself as a successful children's writer, then stop by the CBI Clubhouse at cbiclubhouse.com. CBI Clubhouse is loaded with stuff. Videos, articles, ebooks, podcasts, and, of course, our famous Children's Book Insider newsletter. It's all there at cbiclubhouse.com. Come and join the fighting bookworms. This is John Bard. I'll see you next time.